We're out here in London, Leicester Square, out in front of Burger King. We've got a sign here, I'm gonna go deep cover, undercover, meat eater, but a different kind of meat, actually. Hope I don't get beaten up for this. You need to calm the f down. Don't you f come near me. I'm going to get potatoes thrown at me. Connect stuff. off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey brother, right. what's your position on this sign here? Where do you stand? I don't think I'm able to come up with points to either prove right or wrong. I'm really? I'm just interested to hear what you have to say about why right? it's okay, yeah. Why it's okay? Yeah. Okay, the reason I think it's okay to kill and eat dogs is because they're not human, one. Okay. They've got lots of protein, two. If they weren't supposed to be eaten while they were made out of meat. Right. Okay, uh, they're not as smart as us. Yeah. All right, not as smart as me anyway. Well, they, don't, they can't use an iPhone. They didn't create an iPhone. They can't speak like in our language right. as well as another reason. Yeah. So what's your position on eating meat in general? I think as long as uh, there's meat on the animal, they're okay to eat. Do you eat meat? Uh, yeah, of course. I eat, I'll, I'll eat any animal. Have you ever eaten a dog before? Look, I, I want to bring it. I, I actually think we, we shouldn't pick and choose really. My, yeah. my, my whole position is. Okay. So like, do you think it's more influenced by like society and how we view dogs compared to other animals? Yeah, like, I mean, uh, my whole position is if you don't want to eat a dog, then don't eat other animals because they're sentient beings as well. What's the difference? Do you eat other animals? I do eat other animals. So why do you eat other animals? I want to ask you that. Because we've just been raised that, to understand, at least to hear, that some animals we can eat, some animals we can't eat. Oh, so Whether or not lot, there's it's like... It's a lot more commercial. Like if you were to go into a supermarket, I think it's a lot more... I mean, it's a lot easier to go and buy a chicken or white lamb or whatever, or pork, whatever, okay. in comparison to, to a dog. So yeah, I would say that there is definitely some society. Yeah. So that's why you do, you like, yeah, so you're conditioned to, and it's socially yeah, so it's and like, culturally yeah. acceptable to. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's something that we, like, have really chosen to do, but it's just how You've it You've been brought is. up to, right. to eat those animals, right? So, right? Yeah. so I could agree with the point that there's yeah. nothing... There's nothing illogical. So if I've got a cow here, and I've got a pig here, and then I've got a dog here, and, yeah. and I've got a claw hammer in my hand. There's no difference. And I smash a cow in the head with a claw hammer and stab them in the throat, or I smash a pig or a dog. Yeah. yeah. Which one is more wrong to do? Well, I think it would just be judged as more wrong to kill the dog just because we, View them as, as people, we... have, have a more personal relationship with the dog. And okay. that's just... And if you had a personal relationship with a cow, would it be then more I, wrong to kill a random cow that you didn't know? Well, I think I'd feel equally upset if okay. I had a personal relationship. And, and with what cows. about for the cow and for the dog? Is it different, like from their perspective? No. Which one's more wrong? I, don't, I would say, I from, from the perspective of the animal, I would say it's probably equal. If yeah. Anything. Yeah. Or think, the victim, like that's getting yeah, there. They're still getting. It's killed. the same level of bad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like, the reality is, we're eating an, an animal that's being killed. That's, that's how it is. And they're often tortured. Yeah. More often than not, they are tortured throughout their life. Right. Like in this country, yeah. around the world. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. So there's nothing like logically wrong with it. I think it's more about how we've just been conditioned. Yeah. So if you're eating five animals like lamb, pigs, chick I don't know if you eat uh, pigs. Some people don't. Pigs, chickens, dairy comes from cows that get all get slaughtered. All yeah. of them do. And their calves get slaughtered. Their little calves get slaughtered. So my position, if you if you were all doing that, what's the problem with uh, you know torturing some dogs, eating them because I want to, really? I don't think there would be a logical problem. Yeah, with would it. you, you wouldn't have a problem? Would with you have an ethical people. problem with it? I mean, I have a dog. I quite like my dog. If I I think I could say if I didn't have a personal relationship with a dog or with other people's dogs in general, then yeah, it's all good. It's food. Well, I, I wouldn't choose to eat a dog right now. I'm not just eating the dog. I have to slaughter them first, yeah. right? Yeah. But that's just how- Not your that. dog, because right. I get that's like your property, right? right. I don't want to hurt your iPhone or like your, your property or a car or something like that. So like my whole thing is like, if they're not your dog, would you think it's wrong, like ethically? Well, I mean, I can't say I would enjoy it, but like logically, there's, there's no different to killing okay. a cow. Okay, and you? It's all, yeah, I, I just think, I think because we do ethics in, because we, we're in like college right now. Okay. Um, we're studying like ethics, philosophy. Okay. I, I was just kind of curious as to, I guess your points. My philosophical um, standpoint? Yeah. Just My whole thing is either be consistent. Yeah. Or have a contradiction. Yeah, but do you right. not think naturally, like naturally people are going to pick and choose, even though no. pigs, cows and everything are still being killed anyways, people will still have a preference between a pig or a cow. Yeah, you can, I can have a preference between right. him over you and then kill you. Does that justify if I've got a pr preference? Well, I wouldn't justify it, but I mean... Yeah, yeah, I mean, because we're not talking about... The same species. We're not talking about choosing like strawberries over bananas. We're talking about I've got a preference to eat a dog or a pig and one of them is getting slaughtered and butchered into, you know, so it's not like... 
there's moral weight to that preference. I get like if it's a choice between saving your mother and a pigeon, yeah. then you're going to save your mum. But if it's a choice between choosing something else to eat, yeah, I mean, there's no real difference. But... Yeah. So my whole thing is right: either be logically consistent and don't eat any animals, mm -hmm. or be a complete and utter moral hypocrite and pick and choose because you like this one, you don't like that one. Right. Because of the reasons that a cow matters morally, same reasons that a dog matters morally. Sentience, they experience pain and suffering and don't want to die. Mm -hmm. Same way you hold a knife to a cow or a hammer to a cow, they cower, they get scared. Same with a dog. But I think if we had grown if we had grown up with cows or pigs as pets or like in history used cows for hunting or to provide food for ourselves, like we've grown and in a way evolved with dogs. Yeah, you know, I would say it's a lot especially like in I guess yeah, a lot of culture like society today, it is a lot more accepted to have a dog as like a household pet. Yeah. Or to have yeah, I guess even the term like dog is a man's best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does culture dictate morality? Well yeah, I would say there so. are some cultures yeah, yeah. that do eat dogs. Do you think so. it does? Yeah. So if we're culturally conditioned to have slaves, yeah. right. does that make it that action okay? No. Okay, so it doesn't. Culture no. doesn't dictate morality. Well see what I'm saying? I understand yeah, yeah. your point, but people of that time aren't having that discussion. They were. They would, or they were, but the majority. And, that, and if you said, well, it's cultural, that wouldn't be a moral justification for it the It would be a justification, so, but, but you, you, you were talking about a, a moral justification to kill and eat dogs yeah. by saying it's cultural to have them as our, our pets, you know what I mean? Right. And uh, in the same way, like, it's cultural to eat cows and pigs and chickens, right? Yeah. But that doesn't dictate what the moral action is. You're just saying it's cultural. I don't yeah. care about that in, a, in an ethical discussion. Yeah. It's a logical fallacy. It's like saying it's natural. Yeah. Well, it's, that's a logical. I don't care if it's natural. I care if it's okay to do or moral to do. Yeah? Yeah, I agree with you. It shouldn't be different. But just way back. Just, I think it is just kind of like, in general, I just think it's kind of a, mate, like a, uh, a view that's kind of, you're kind of given, aren't you? Like it's yeah. it's a general kind yeah. of thing that you'll like. It, okay, for example, like again in a in a film, like if you have a film, you're watching a film where, say, like a dog dies, yeah, compared to, I don't know, like yeah, like a cow or yeah. a chicken, yeah. because of the way that we view those animals differently. Obviously, there's different reactions from different people. Yeah. And if I love the chicken more than I love you, should I just be able to slaughter and eat you? Because my personal Religion, feelings yeah. about a chicken. So I could have a yeah. personal feeling about a chair, actually. Yeah. That was so much stronger than my personal feeling of all of humanity. Yeah. Should I just push the new, get rid of yeah. hu humans and just over this chair? Yeah. No, you know what yeah, I mean? No, I like, our point. personal feelings shouldn't really come into, like, rights uh, of humans and animals. Yeah. yeah. Really, we should have rights protecting us because there's some psychos out there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because if they have the preference to do something horrible, they shouldn't be allowed to, basically. But it should be off something more fundamental, like, my argument is if they're a sentient being and they experience the world, then they should have some kind of protection. Yeah. Right. right? Dogs, cows, pigs, chickens. Otherwise, everyone's free-for-all. Yeah. But right? again, that's the ideal world. What's that? Again, that's that's the ideal, the ideal world. world. Yeah, the yeah. Ideal world. I'm asking for consistency, aren't yeah. I? But realistically, people are just naturally going to be hypocritical in, yeah. I, I, in some form. Okay, let me just tell you what I'm doing. I'm a vegan animal rights activist. Right. I'm trying to get people to think about animal rights more consistently. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's the whole idea of getting people to stand. Yeah, I was going to ask. I was going to say, kind of, what brought on this? Yeah. Because I was just interested in, in kind of what brought that discussion on. But yeah, no, I do. I do think like. I do think that the, the like having logically having that consistency does make sense. Yeah. Otherwise, you're picking and choosing. You've got a massive contradiction, yeah. and animals are suffering because of it. Yeah. 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 And obviously, like this awareness is needed. Yeah. <clears throat> like it makes sense to educate people on their like inconsistency. Yeah. But at the same time, so I'm like I like I said, I can't argue against the point because it's valid. Like it's a very valid point. I agree with what you're saying. But again, it's, it's an ideal world. So I don't, yeah, I don't let me realistic. talk about your personal contribution to what happens to animals, right? right? So when you go to the store, you take meat, dairy, eggs off the shelf, yeah. they replace it with more. What happens to the animals on the other end? They get killed. They don't just get killed, they get tortured. tortured. Yeah. More often than not, they are tortured in the systems that we have yeah. them in, and then they are slaughtered against their will in a horrible slaughterhouse. That's what happens every time we make that decision. Just as easily for you to make that decision, like you could make a different decision. Like you could skip over the meat, go to the plant-based section, yeah? Yeah. For you, it's just moving a few meters, right. a bit of like hassle at the start, small hassle. It's not that big a hassle, I can do it. 
Uh, but for the animals, it's their whole entire existence. So why don't you make that choice? I mean, valid point. But I think if everyone did that, then that would make sense. But if it's just me doing it, the same animal that's getting killed to replace the meat I bought is just getting killed to replace the meat the, per the next person in the aisle bought. So you won't make a moral decision until everyone else does? I think, no, it'd be great if everyone did make the moral decision and it makes sense in a way, but realistically... So you'd wait for everyone else? And if everyone else waited for everyone else? Well, that's what I'm saying. In the ideal world, we wouldn't wait for everyone else, but... I won't wait for everyone else. Right. Because, like, you know, I could make the argument, like, you know, um, people are still going to get killed. Yeah. Whether I kill one or two people doesn't make a big difference in the scheme of things. People are still going to get killed. Yeah. So therefore, I'm going to justify murdering two or three people. Yeah. And you would say, no, actually, that matters for the people that you killed, and it's wrong, and you should make decisions based on, like, some kind of ethical, ethical consistent framework, right? Yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's difficult to compare us as on the same level as other animals. You can compare humans and animals. You I never said we're, them, on, we're say, the same in every way. I never equated us. You know, when you equate two things, I'm saying, like, these two things can be standing, but yeah. a chair is not a table. Yeah, no, so you can compare these two things without equating them, right? Yeah. Now, what do we have in common with animals? We're sentient. We are animals, right? We are animals, right? Yeah. We feel pain, we suffer, yeah. we have eyes, feel the world, experience the world. Same yeah. with animals, right? To murder an animal or to torture an animal is still wrong, even right. though we're not exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Okay, so but my comparison was yeah. stands. It's, it's, but, uh, yeah, one agree. might be more bad, yeah. but the other one's not good. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not agreeing that torturing animals is good. Like, no. if, I mean, unrealistically, if there was an ethical way for us to still get meat without the torture... Yeah, plant-based meat. But, okay, actual... Yeah, plant-based meat. It fulfills the same function, it's got protein, fat, uh, you know, it's uh, nutritious. You can add supplements to it, you can get uh, you can get protein and everything you get out of meat from plant-based sources with a small B12 supplement, I mean, why not? You could also get lab-grown meat, it's not out yet, but like, you can still, you can get meat without killing an animal. True. As soon as you kill that being against their will, I'd say that's no longer ethical. True. So, yeah. Oh, I agree yeah. You agree? I do agree. If you agree, then you should be vegan. <laughs> I think that's a lot like... Otherwise, it's uh, lip service. You know what lip service is? Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's... I agree with you, but I'm not going to do anything about it. I can understand the... like, the logic of the point. I just don't know if, personally, I could make that decision. Yeah. Why not? I, tell me. Tell me why. Why? Why? I think, like, for me, like... I don't know, I just... I Like, I cook a lot. I'm, huh? I'm very, um, I don't know. You're I a good cook, so it's so much easier for you. I used to love cooking too. I used to watch all the cooking shows, yeah. right? Now you get a bit of tofu. It's not going to taste like crap, is it? You're going to season it. You're going to put a crust yeah. on it. You're going to, you know how to, you know, cook properly and add flavor to food. Yeah. Because all you're talking about is cooking food, adding flavor yeah. and getting your nutrition. Yeah. I think there is just a general kind of, there is, I think because of the fact that we eat meat so much, and because yeah. it has been so normalized, I think it yeah. it kind of does diminish the, like, the idea or the logic of, like especially the morality of how we attain that meat, or how that meat would, yeah, come about into the shops that we then buy it from. You're disconnected from the process, right? Yeah. yeah. So I've been an investigator for the last four years, like yeah. a full-time investigator. Like I'll go into farms and leave cameras right. in the slaughterhouses and bring this footage out. If you had seen what I see on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. you'd be much more connected to this whole I thing. I agree that. I think I you do, just connect definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. a big part. Yeah. And it kind of... We're here when you're not happy out. Free. What's up? You want to eat the dogs? You're my new best friend. Okay, um, what were we saying? Okay, yeah. So in the same way that we were talking about the dogs yeah. earlier, just kind of, we've been grown, we've, we've, we've yeah, grown and raised it, a lot of it is, to yeah. eat meat. Yeah. We've been, we've been raised so to eat meat, and also we naturally are kind of brought up with the idea that we have a very close relationship with, you know, dogs, stuff like that. Um, and also the fact that, yeah, I think that in general, like, it's not like we're regularly kind of introduced to the process of attaining the meat that we yeah. do. It's just an abstract idea talking about killing animals. Yeah. But when you actually witness it, then I you see the yeah. fear, the blood, the struggle, 
You know what I mean? Even yeah. talking about killing a dog. I agree, yeah. But when you have a dog here, though, and you watch me with a hammer, and you watch him struggling, and me holding him down, and you hear the sounds, and you, you know, it's horror, it's horrifying. Yeah, not that there should be no difference. You. I could show you some footage that would traumatize you to the yeah. point that you probably would change. Yeah, yes, I, yeah. I do. I encourage you to watch the footage and see what you pay for. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what changed me. I don't want to pay for. But if, so if I've seen someone hurting an animal, I would intervene, I would help the animal, right? But I'm paying for some of the most horrifying stuff to happen to animals on a day-to-day -day basis. I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to, it's not me. You, yeah. you seem, you don't seem like callous killers to me. You don't seem like it. You're not, yeah. you're just disconnected. You're buying, you're buying body parts and you don't connect stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! What are you doing? What are you doing? Good. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Sorry about that, guys. Fun's up. Maybe she likes dogs, actually. I. Uh, that might be the case. Yeah. She bought that from Burger King. She better not bought a, an, a, a like a beef burger with that. It would have been extremely hypocritical. Anyways, we were discussing disconnect from the slaughterhouse yeah. to the meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was saying you don't look like killers. You're not killers. Most people are not. Most people are not uh, egregious and cruel. I would encourage you to look at the footage, to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I think I will. Watch what me and my me and all my investigator colleagues go out in the UK and we investigate RSPCA assured farms and slaughterhouses, red tractor farms and slaughterhouses and see what they do to animals in your name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I will. This is that interested me. And if, you, if, if that's against your personal like ethics, yeah. you don't want to be a hypocrite no more, you don't want to do that to animals anymore, yeah. then be vegan. Yeah. I think as, as much I, 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 I will go back, I will go I, home. Yeah, I do okay. genuinely kind of want to be a little bit more involved. Because at this like, the disconnect does play quite a big part of it. Yeah. And obviously we are dis disconnected. Let me just show you this. Uh, you can just look this up when you get back. It's called Land of Hope and Glory. Yeah. Okay. It's UK farms and abattoirs. You can even look up uh, GE Pork, UK gas chamber for pigs. This is my investigation. You'll see pigs <laughs> suffering in CO2 gas, the main way they slaughter them here in the UK, screaming to death in CO2, burns them, tortures them. Do you think your viewpoint is influenced more by the fact that animals are dying or the means by which they are being killed? Both. Like, obviously I don't want humans or animals to be tortured, but I wouldn't want them to have their rights violated and have their right to life taken from them. Like, murder is still bad if you shoot someone in the head really quickly. Yeah. yeah. It's still wrong, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. What do you think one is more significant than the other? Torture is worse than, well, well, I mean, torture adds to it. Torture adds to it. If you torture and kill someone, it's worse than just killing someone. Right. Um, if you torture someone and let them live, that might be better than... That's what, that's what I mean, like it's not- it's Murder, yeah, yeah. murder is like you've taken everything away from them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, if, for example, in a hypothetical situation, not in, not like an ideal world, but where the situations are slightly improved and they weren't being tortured, yeah. do you think that is something achievable with- What do you think? Do you think I, I'd agree I with think, it? I think, because I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. But I think, I think the general. You're looking for the right way to do the wrong thing, basically. Yeah, because I you're think you're looking it's, for a, it's still a less bad way to murder. No, yeah. no, I'm just talking about you. you I only want to know about you. Yeah. Like what you think is okay, because we can look out to the world and go, oh, there's there's horrible things going on in the world. Uh, what I do doesn't matter. I just want to know about your personal beliefs and whether yeah. or not you're going to change them. So, do you think I'd be okay, even if it were hypothetically possible, with happy farms slaughtering happy animals? Um, yeah. I don't know, I'm just trying to like process everything, really get it, get yeah. to grips with it. But I mean, I don't know, yeah, it is It is a little bit. I think trying to argue does kind of feel like trying to argue. You can't really argue against it about trying to argue that murder is good. Yeah. Yeah. Murdering yeah. dogs is okay, murdering gorillas, are, is it because they're not human? I mean, if you can justify killing a cow for a burger, taste preference, you don't need to to survive. You can, if you can justify that, you can justify doing anything horrible you want. Yeah. Like you're talking about for a taste, for a five minute burger, go in there. There's a vegan burger literally in versus an animal having their entire existence robbed from them. That's what you're talking about. That's, a di that's yeah. what you're weighing up. Do you think, not directly related, but do you think if there were more advances in the production of vegan food, to me, I don't know how to phrase this, but to make it taste I'd, more like I don't meat. think the level of the vegan products being produced meet the same 
standard of, a, of people looking for authentic I think they, they, they do and some of them don't. But uh, I think that even if they didn't across the board, it wouldn't justify doing what we do to animals. Yeah. But I get what you're saying, it's more of a practical point. Yeah. Maybe that would help animals more. And, and there are innovations being made and there's a lot yeah. of great products. I personally am not fuss, that fussy anymore. But there are some great, there's some amazing vegan options now. Yeah. Really good ones. I mean, in the same way, this is becoming more and more of like a relevant topic. Yeah. So it is the kind of idea of artificial things being added into food and people becoming more skeptical of that. Yeah, I think that's a lot of fear mongering. Yeah. Often funded by big, the big meat, meat industry is a very powerful industry, isn't it? Meat, dairy, massive. So yeah, they, they do fund a lot of propaganda, anti-vegan propaganda, and like, oh look, the, the, the meat products are fake. It's basically just processed plants. Now you don't have to eat processed food, you can eat completely whole foods and healthy and whatever you want. But they're just there if you want a burger. I eat them, but I don't, you know, my whole diet isn't just processed burgers. So so obviously historically, we used to hunt for our food, yeah. we used to do it purely for survival, yeah. rather than, rather than um, kind of like just for pleasure. Do you think if we were more like that without the mass production, mass killing, but simply for survival, it would be less of a relevant issue? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't think it would be moral to kill for survival, like an ethical, I, I think like, you have a justification if you're trying to survive. Like if you're trying to kill my family and I shoot you in the head, okay, yeah. I'm justifying it. Yeah. But if I shoot you in the head because I want to eat you, I don't know. If no, it was it's not the same. for survival though, like if there was, like let's say there was no other means to, like let's say you're on an We item. probably wouldn't have this com be having this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would we? That's, that's what I was, I was yeah. just like no. directly. Um, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to yeah. cut it off there. I want to yeah. speak to these guys. Yeah. Really nice talking yeah. here. Sorry about the Coke yeah. issue. No problem. You're drinking no problem. Coke here too, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know? And look, what it's come back to bite you now. <laughs> After all the support we've given Coke and that. Yeah, thank you. I'm really interested. Take, take it easy, guys.